you're going to have this back and forth for some time. The debate over school mask mandates is heating up once again, with the science of masking supporting both sides of the argument. Dr. Gigi Granval is an immunologist and senior scholar at the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security. The research is very clear that, that masks work. I mean, this is just basic physics. Studies show that hospital grade masks keep COVID droplets out of the air, provide protection for the mask wearer, and that one way masking works. But that is just one piece of the puzzle, she says, and believes it's premature to remove school mask requirements. I find the conversation around lifting masks in school very alarming. Too much COVID transmission, too few 5 to 11 year olds vaccinated, and too many school buildings with poor ventilation and air filtration. We do not want to have um, little outbreaks that force the closure of schools so that, that children are denied an in-person education, which I think is more important than, um, than removing the mask mandate. Hopkins professor Dr. Annette Anderson says it's important for the feds to step up and lead. I think we really do need our federal agencies to step in with some clarity and guidance. That's been one of the biggest missteps in my mind of this whole pandemic. Parents, she says, are confused and frustrated amid evolving information and a patchwork of public health policies. It's rather arbitrary. And I think for very for most parents, that feels unsettling. The experts also say that we need to wait until Paxlovid, which is the pill, the treatment for COVID, until that's approved for younger children and until it is in greater supply overall. Reporting live from North Baltimore tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.